Hey, how's it going, YouTube Proxy Hacks here? And I managed to get Mech Warrior 3 working flawlessly after all this time, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of the campaign. It's been a while since I've done anything like this, but um, yeah, I figured I would do it. Except this time, I decided to do it with a, with a twist. So, I'm playing with Frico's Weapon Mod, and I'm kind of curious how the campaign's going to be. Before I do anything, though, now that I think about it, I should, have, bleh, I should head over to Options. I have the difficulty set to High, but I know a lot of these weapons are buffed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the difficulty to Medium, just in case. So, yeah... I don't know what I'm getting into. I played the campaign, like, a whole bunch when I was a kid, and I started playing it recently. And I forgot how fun it was. So, yeah. I'm gonna set the difficulty to medium and see just how well I do with the weapons mod. So, wish me luck. Assuming it goes smoothly. Power curve optimal. Drop checks complete. All systems nominal. Landing coordinates confirmed. Drop well, sequence commencing. That's cool that they have all the mech statistics there. Aboard the dropship, so we'll have to use CAN data from an early probe flight. 
From our proposed landing site, here, we are to make our way west, neutralize the heavy missile platforms which control the lower valley, and then turn north following the river. This island facility is our final objective. The Beck production site looks active, and the lack of strong military forces suggests an easy target. This operation is to be performed in four tactical sub-ops, indicated here. We'll wait one. New data coming through. You sure that's all we have? All right, give me the tech map. Lance Leader, our probe data is extremely out of date. However, you're falling slightly off target. We predict a shallow water splashdown north of this fishing village. In order to get to the beach, Vehicles have to use this bridge, as protected by these fixed missile emplacements. Op Point Able designates a clan communications facility as your first target. Freeze video. These emplacements have to be eliminated. Op Point Baker is the programmed landing target of the mobile field base. We'll wait for you there. Cut the feed. Objectives. Neutralize communication center at Op Point Able. Rendezvous with mobile field base at Op Point Baker. Look out for these SRM emplacements. Mobile threats should consist of light mechs and some vehicles. Good luck, Lance Leader. Oh, so I noticed something different already. So, with Frico's weapons mod, he actually included the mission info and conditions and all that. Gives us the temperature, the visibility, the terrain. Water source, you know, that's really cool. Good work. Blech. Good world building. I like it a lot. But, um, yeah, so basically, we're stuck on Tranquil after getting shot down by, by I'm guessing, some HPG uplinks or some laser towers. And a lot of dropships went down. Things don't go according to plan. And now we're stuck on an island with Clan Smoke Jaguar. <laughs> Which, by the way, is one of the weakest clans in the canon. They're also the biggest jerks out of all of them, from what I remember, so, yeah. Well, there's also a nice sound effect. Reactor online. Computer online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Coolant reserve online. Self-destruct systems online. All systems nominal. Yeah, we got self-destruct systems in this as well. Leader, this is a mobile field base. We're down on target. Awaiting no rendezvous. I just ran into something. Yeah, All some machine guns. guns. We've got movement all around our location. Don't waste any time here. So what I'm gonna do. Ow. Ow. So yeah, as I said before. As I said, it's harder. out the satellite? I didn't. I didn't. There we go. No determination on the status of dropship Black Hammer. We assume it is down. Act in accordance with mission specifications until we devise a rescue plan. That was Captain Taylor's official response to my request for information. Our extraction is an unknown factor at this time. 
We have recovered codes from the communications facility objective that allowed us to break clan radio encryption. You will receive a direct feed of clan intentions. Finally, Dominic nice. Gunner Payne deployed successfully and has moved into position to keep clan forces pinned in place. We will rendezvous with him as planned at the mech factory. Next leader, this is Sergeant Grant Bell from MMV2. I'll be your secondary briefing specialist for up to the minute mission information. Oh, this is new. The summary station you just destroyed, we just found some files that will have a definite impact on the mission. In addition to the earlier information which led to our breaking plan and encryption code, there are files regarding weapons the Jaguars have brought with them to tranquil from their raid to the Outer Rim world. No doubt you will encounter some. A detailed list of these weapons has been sent to your computer screen. Additionally, we found some files that talk about some kind of, and I quote, alien technology. The information is very vague and sketchy. Something about a device they're trying to reverse engineer. I get the impression the device is located somewhere in the northernmost mission areas along our route. The Jags are being very secretive about it, and it seems to hold a top-level priority. Tell your team to be ready for anything. Even a new mission objective. Sorensen and the rest of the tech team are going to analyze this further and be on the lookout for more information. Huh. So for now, good luck on the next mission. Interesting. Interesting. That's not in the base game. So Frico added that. And by the way, that's Frico's voice. So, yeah. That's really cool. So does that mean that there's some new, like... <sighs> There's some new mission objectives that aren't in base game that I can look at. If so, then awesome. I will gladly do that. That'll be really cool. To set up our river valley run, we first have to gain access to this plateau. Roll probe data. I'm gonna have to check the mission objectives here. later. The MFB will investigate after you've cleared the area. This barracks facility is off point able. We're counting on getting some significant salvage. Just past this lake is the major threat in this area. This is a heavy missile platform, and it sits right where we need to be. Back to overview. Objective Abel, Objective Baker. The missile platform has a range well beyond the barracks area. Terrain analysis has found a blind spot in the coverage to the south. Expect moderate mech resistance, especially at the approaches to the missile platform. Hmm, Artemis 4 cluster missiles, snub nose PPCs, heavy PPCs. List of possible brain cache weaponry found in captured smoke jag files. Advanced tactical missile 12, rotary auto cannon 5, so rack 5. Light AC2s, which I'll never use. Sniper ar artillery cannon, those are pretty good. Heavy gauss rifles and hyper assault gausses, those are. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Okay, so... I just have... I have a double heatsink, so that's cool. Also, if you notice... I made a lot of builds for... Because, because basically I use this when I play online. So, yeah. What I'm gonna do is I am going to build this new mech from the ground up. I have no idea how well this is going to work with the weapons mod, but what I can do is not that. I need quite a few. You know, I'll stick with the double heatsink because I kind of need that. I also don't... Do I have any cases? No, I don't. Of course not. That's the right torso. Left torso, I'll just put some ammo in there. And actually, what am I doing? I kind of need that slot for my AC-10. So, what I'm going to do now is bring out an AC-10 and have some ammunition there. I probably don't even need two. I don't want to use up too much ammunition, that's the thing. 
And I'm also going to group this here. Okay, why is it in weapon group two? That's kind of jarring to look at, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that. What I'm also going to do is I'm gonna head over to equipment, maybe add another double heat sink. I don't really need to worry about my arms at all, so yeah. Okay, I maybe you know I don't need this actually, so I'm just gonna soup up the engine a bit. How's the armor looking? Armor's looking okay. Ferrofibrous, maybe if I brought an endo steel. Okay, yeah. Endo steel should be fine. Now I can soup up the engine some more. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna set the save this as Up one mission two. That's an that's an that is an at sign. So I'm okay. So I'm just gonna. Okay, so I'm saving that, and I don't know about this. I don't know if I'll, I don't know about allocating extra salvage or anything like that, but we'll see. Reactor online, okay. computer online, sensors so, online, weapons online, first thing we're gonna do is take online. out these Self agencies. Self-destruct systems online, all systems nominal. Just gonna, you know, give my give it a good zoom. Come on. And of course, my headset unplugs. One cool thing about this mod is that whenever you target a mech, it it based it says the name, so that's really nice. If you guys couldn't already tell, I am using the speedrun builds from the speed demos archive. Enemy unit sighted. But yeah, I'm using the I'm using the mechs from the speed demos archive. Uh, web speedrun website. So yeah, I'm actually kind of practicing speedrunning this game. I used, to, I used to play this game a lot, so I, really want, I kind of want to do as much as I possibly can in this LP. So much damage. That rate of fire is just insane. <laughs> Ow. Oh, they fixed that one. It actually still shoots me. I mean, that's kind of cool. Should have had an AMS. Alright. Ooh, man. Good job, Lance Leader. We found a couple of disadvantaged of class assault lasers at that construction site. Too bad we can't use them. Survivors of Damocles 2 have made contact. They're attacking the hydroelectric dam in Operations Area 2. 
Also, Captain Taylor has set the eclipse down well north of us. They're trying to break through, find a place to rendezvous. Ooh, and I got a hat. I got a heavy assault gas. Sergeant Bell here, sir. Nice job out there, by the way. We got some sweet salvage. I have an update for you. <laughs> the study of the captured files from Mission 1 have revealed more yeah. handy information. The Jags have automated artillery units patrolling all the mission areas in our path of advancement. They're programmed to stay out of range of enemy units based on telemetry they're receiving from satellite scans. It would appear the Jags may know where we are at all times, so keep your guard up. The good news is we've salvaged some of the Jags' tag laser units, and we can retrofit them for your mech so you can use them to call in their own artillery strikes against them. Who so you might be interested. Let us know and we'll get you set up. Sergeant Bell out. Well, I mean, that would be great if I had access to tag lasers, but, you know, I guess not. Also, I can't take that seriously because I know who's voicing that. <laughs> I actually know Freako, so, yeah. It's just funny. <laughs> I, can recogni I can recognize that that's him talking. But, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. So, we managed to get t through two missions, and we're going to keep going. Hopefully, we'll get through this campaign and see all the new stuff that Rico included in this mod. It's really cool. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Proxyac signing out. Bye.